I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. I did about four chicken breasts for the week. I mean, I already eat, and then I put like three more in there to make us some chicken salad. So, only thing I put on there was seasoning salt, salt, black pepper, and this McCormick roasted garlic and herb seasoning. So, I'm gonna put it on high till it cook. When it finishes, I'm gonna take out enough chicken to do my chicken salad, and then I'll show y'all what I do to for our dinner. I guess I'll show y'all me making the chicken salad and the dinner. So y'all have two recipes in one. So we almost ran out of salad dressing last time because we've been eating basically all salads for like two weeks. I got some white grape juice left down there, some grapefruit juice. Um, some rye bread, three little Starbucks drink things, and three things of yogurt. That's about it. So that's like applesauce, upside down, flour, some more bread, and then that's cranberry juice, but it's almost gone. I use it in my smoothies. So what I got today was grits, salt, ranch. I don't really eat ranch on my salad, but I do eat it with like wings and stuff. Um, two things of milk for RP, and then I'll be eating a lot of cereal. Thousand Island, blue cheese, two things of lettuce. This oatmeal. I like all these ones. If I don't get those, I just get strawberry and peach. Then I put drinks these. And I got these to test them out as a dessert because they're I love key lime pie. So I'm probably about to eat one of these right now because I'm hungry. I just woke up from yeah. Quick now. Like now. And then I got some cheese to go with my chicken salad on my sandwiches. So, and in the car I have some more of those Starbucks things, but I got the 12 pack. And then I got some more um, salad dressings. So I got Catalina and like three other kinds. I don't know what it is. And then what else I get? Two packs of those um, Lance peanut butter and honey crackers. And I think that's it. Oh, a box of French Toast Crunch. <laughs> so. I only had like eighty dollars for this run because we don't get food stamps again, like the stimulus, whatever, till the first. So I already realized I didn't get pickles because Arby likes pickles with her salad. And what else I was thinking about? I guess that's it because she got apples. I don't really have that much cheese left, but that's okay. I still got a few slices down now and then two like string cheeses. And I'll probably get some more yogurt later. So, this is good for that. So, it has gotten dark outside. It's done, but I probably won't let it cook for a little while longer. Side note, I like for it to smell done and look done. So, when it starts looking like barbecue, because <laughs> me and my mama are so particular like about meat. So, yeah. We overcook our chicken just about. Another way I like to test if it's done, so I usually stir it. So when I did this this morning, it was like nine maybe. So right now it's like 2.30. I like to stir it. So if it start falling apart when I stir it, I know it's done. So yeah, but I'm about to eat this real quick. So I wanna eat that. So y'all see how they're bubbling right now? That's how I want my meat. So I want to make sure it is done. Now I'm about to take out two thighs. I do get boneless, skinless chicken thighs because I hate touching chicken. So, I got this teeth, the tiny one. And then, so I probably should put more. Look how little these got. But I don't eat meat, so it ain't no big deal. So it's more important that I have enough chicken salad than I have enough meat in my other thing. So it's still this piece, this piece, this piece, 
in this piece. So that's good for that. So I got three. I'm gonna set that spoon right up for now. Now, I do not over complicate my chicken salad, which a lot of people do. So, first I'm gonna taste the piece of the meat. So, like that much. I already know it's good because I don't smell it. So, I really I just tasted it to see if it needs some salt. So I put like a little dash. If I needed more, I just put more. A little pepper. I love black pepper. So I go ham. And then, pick, let me taste on. If I make chicken salad regular with just mayonnaise, salt, and pepper, it's fine. But these sweet salad cubes, just take it over the edge. That's why I had to buy this big thing because I always forget pickles. Well, sweet salad cubes. I don't even like pickles, but I do love these. Mm, mm, yep. In my chicken salad. And I only use Hillman's, Hillman's mayonnaise or similar mayonnaise to Hillman's, which I can't think of a name brand right now, but I do not eat mayo. That's nasty. You put on the stand. So I don't have any silverware by choice other than plastic, so. I'm gonna see how many regular spoons this is. <laughs> okay, so that was four regular, what you would call a teaspoon, so like one of these spoons. That's my starting point. And you put as many cubes as you want. I want enough to where I'm gonna have in every bite, so I'm gonna do three. And then I see how I look at that mix it up. So, since I don't have silverware, I'm just gonna use this spoon and then I clean it off when I go to do make the other thing. So, quick pause, because I can't hold the camera and mix. So that was the perfect amount. This is how about how wet I like mine. But I don't want it to where it's like it's just made up when I try to eat it. So yeah. So when I make chicken salad, I'm like my grandma. I only make it from um, chicken like I'll cook, like baked chicken if I have some left over, or if, you know, you have a gathering, family gathering, and you get that big old bucket of KFC chicken or Popeye's chicken, and you don't eat it all, and you take the fire part off and pick off the meat and make chicken salad. Or you can do it with a turkey, like a leftover turkey, whatever. So. Uh, another way, if you don't want to cook the meat, is sometimes I use this, which is, is no one is good, but if you use that canned chunk chicken breast, it's not flavorful at all, so you're going to have to put a, some salt and pepper and some seasoned salt on that thing and let it cook. Well, not cook, but, you know, marinate in those yummy goodness. Okay, so chicken salad done. I got to put it in the refrigerator. I do not like hot chicken salad. So, it's got to go in the refrigerator. So, I can't eat it until tomorrow, which I'm very sad about because it smells so good. And that chicken, this chicken tastes so good. So, now what we got left in here is just chicken. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this to do dinner. Okay, so, I'm making this off off the top of my head because last, not last night, but a couple nights ago, I wanted chicken and broccoli in the crock pot. And I was thinking, hmm, I need like a sauce or something. And I can just put whatever I put in here on top of some noodles. So... What I decided to do was because I haven't been making spaghetti, so I'm going to use a container. Okay, goes just chill out. Of this tomato, basil, garlic. And then I'm going to add in some of this, see, because you got some water in there. So it'll, um, I add the sauce last so the pasta can cook first. And I'm just going to mash this up to where it's not chunks of chicken. I'm not gonna add a lot of noodles. I'm not gonna I'm gonna add the broccoli and the sauce in at the end. Just because you know it really just has to be warmed. And 
Every time you put in, I say this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Good job. People don't listen. Every time you add in something, you need to add salt, pepper, seasoning salt. So when I add pasta in a minute, I'm about to add some salt. Just salt, probably. And then when I add the, go back and add the broccoli and the sauce, I add salt, pepper, probably some more of this, seasoned salt, onion powder, oregano leaves, and garlic powder. That's it. And we're going to have some yumminess. So I think I'm going to do, maybe, I always say I'm not going to do that much because this is supposed to be like it says eight servings for container. So I'm just going to do half the box. And usually when I pour it out, it's like downhill. Right downhill. And then I'll be like, well, I might as well just put the rest of it in. And then it'd be too much. So it's going to be half the box. Okay. I'm going to say it's about half, right? I have to do it real slow. Because you know, normally you just tip it over and it's like gone. So I'm just going to stir it in there. I hope it turns out softer than rice because I hate the way rice turns out in the crock pot. So I just cook it on the stove and push it out. I was going to do it as pasta, but I decided not to. I do not like wet rice. I like my pasta. I mean, rice dry. So. And I wonder how long it's going to take to cook because it probably, I probably been here for like an hour. But, you know, it's quicker to cook it on the stove. The crazy thing is, I'm so hungry right now. This is why I don't cook stuff that take a long time. Like, yeah, because I be hungry. So, let me add my salt. I'm not gonna add a lot, because I don't like salty food. It's enough to like coat the top. And I'm gonna put the top back on. It's still on high, nothing on high all day. I rarely cook anything on low. If I cook it, I cook it on high, and I put it on low later, but I'm not, I don't just put it on low the whole time. I don't have time for that. Um, I just told y'all a little impatient. I really want some chicken salad right now, but I'm going to try to wait. So, that's it, and I'll come back in a second. So, I set the time for 20 minutes. I came back. I lied. I didn't come back. I didn't get up, and I, my phone went off again, and I was like, oh, that time was for that. So, yeah, she stayed in here for 40 minutes. So, yeah, that's what it looks like now. I have to stir it up. The water was almost gone. So, that's perfect. So, all we have is the spaghetti sauce. So, I'm going to add that now. Arpa's getting out, but she's going to know she's going to be cooking. And normally, I would run water in here and get the rest of that out, but I don't think we're going to need no more water for him. I'm not gonna cook it long enough for the water to cook out. I'm just gonna wait for it to heat up. So, and from it, I, I consider myself an experienced cook at this point. I've been cooking since I was like 15, so I can tell if something needs seasoning. So if it smells bland, it is bland. So go ahead and add your stuff up in there. So that's the oregano, and I don't measure. Especially spices, like you can't. I mean, like oregano, basil, and thyme. You really barely gonna get to well. You have too much of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the salt. I'm trying to get the stuff as easy to open, so I don't put that much salt. And I'm taking the, into account that I'm about to put the broccoli in because I'm not going to add any more seasoning. Unless I check it later on after I add the broccoli and it smells like it needs some seasoning. I love this stuff. I don't know why. I had not tried it before now. onion powder 
I always go crazy with onion powder because I love onions. And then garlic powder. And stir. Can't just put a season on top, guys. Stir it through. That looks so good. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so hungry. I don't mean no sleep. Okay, so it's so I'm letting that make it drip out. Yeah, it already dripped to the bottom, so I'm like, okay, I can get it to come out pretty fast. Like it dripped out pretty fast. And I wash these and keep them. So I have pickle jars. And then I keep these jars. So when I go back to work, I can use it for cook salads or whatever. And let me get my broccoli. So I did get enough to cover the top, which was a half half of a bag of a two pound bag of broccoli so this is a whole pound of broccoli me and Arpy love broccoli she loves it probably more than me and I love her. I really do love broccoli um so I'm just gonna mix it up real good because it's gonna take like two minutes to food fry probably not even that long because I cook this in the microwave all the time in like 30 seconds a minute max in like a little bowl so Mix that up. Maybe we have about 10 minutes and then we can eat. I'm probably gonna put my cheese on mine on top of mine, but I don't like cheese. Supposedly. To like in a recent day. She probably have cheese on hers. But that's it.